Good morning, everyone. I'm Olga Millis, real estate associate broker with Elite Realty. Welcome to my weekly real estate series. And today's question, how to avoid losing money when selling your home. Do you want to sell your house for as much as it can possibly sell for? Do you want to move forward with as much money as possible when you sell? Nobody ever said no to those questions. It makes sense. That's what everyone should want. It's literally the main job of a real estate agent, get clients the highest amount possible on the sale of their home. But many agents do not. They don't because they make one common mistake. Or should I say, they let their clients make one common mistake, pricing their home too high. It seems innocent enough and it probably doesn't even sound like a mistake to most homeowners. Many homeowners feel like they should list their home for higher than the real estate agent recommends. For a wiggle room on a price to negotiate the price down because buyers will always come in low. Because you can always go down in price but you can go up because the owner wants or needs that much in order for it to make sense to sell to recoup the money the owner has put into the home over the years in improvements. This is going to ha sound harsh, but I say this was a lot of care and concern. None of that matters and none of that works. It will not get you the highest price for your house. Quite the contrary, you will lose money by doing so. I say that firmly because so many agents do not. So many agents are very loose about this and they allow people to list their homes for too high of a price and end up costing the client money, all because they want to be nice, liked and well, hired. If you overprice your home, even if you reduce the price fairly early on, you lose the critical first days and weeks of buyer's attention. And once the house has been on the market for even a little while, it causes buyers to wonder what's wrong with the house, since nobody has scooped it up yet, or feel that the owner is unrealistic, so why bother or waste their time making an offer? And once it stays in the market for a while, buyers begin to presume the owner will be or should be desperate and only want to come in with lowball offers. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Instead of getting you more money by listing for higher than the market data suggests, you lose money. And like I said, nobody has ever said they don't want to get as much as possible when they sell. Yet, most people don't get as much as possible. I do everything I can to make sure my clients get every penny they can from the sale of their house, even though it means I need to sound a bit harsh and firm. Not being that way doesn't do anyone any good. I hope this information helps you to avoid losing money and makes you as much as possible. Also, a good market study, CMA, is critical when deciding to sell. I take a lot of care analyzing the market, so please make sure to call me for a free analysis when you are thinking of selling. My number is 917-349-2621. I will see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.